So many times, Dave and I have talked about how we're basically watching WCW in 1999 and 2000. Makes some people mad. Well, it's the main event of the holiday edition of Raw. It is AJ and Miz and Morrison against Drew McIntyre, Keith Lee, and Sheamus in a holiday street fight. They've got tables around ringside. There's Christmas treats on them. So it is a holiday street fight. We are told repeatedly that there are no countouts in this match, that there are no disqualifications in this match. And in this main event Raw street fight, they all stand on the apron and they wait for tags. And they stand there. And on their own, for no logical reason, they're abiding by all rules of tag team wrestling, including voluntarily getting out of the ring within five seconds after getting a tag and double teaming their opponents. I am fucking out of my mind at this point. They're tagging. The heels are getting the heat. The baby faces are standing there with their arms outstretched waiting for a tag in a fucking street fight. And so finally, they end up doing some stuff outside. It breaks down. And Morrison is thrown off the apron, almost catches him, but then almost throws him through a table. And by the way, they actually missed the shot. Keith Lee is in the ring with The Miz. He hoists him up in the air. He hits him with a spirit bomb. And Keith Lee pins The Miz. So the babyfaces win a very, very polite street fight here on the holiday edition of SmackDown. And then we cannot let well enough be good. Even though the babyfaces win the main event of the holiday edition of Raw, moments before the show ends, Sheamus randomly broke kicks Keith Lee. He knocks him out. Drew McIntyre starts screaming at Sheamus. And the two baby faces scream at each other as the show goes off the air. All that talk about WWE getting the message. And this was their follow-up. I still don't think it's going to do the lowest number of all time. I think the fact that they're following up TLC. I think the fact that they burnt The Fiend to a fucking crisp. I think enough people are going to care that they probably are going to watch the show. But hey, there you go. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.